What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Glitch.Ty, and welcome back to another episode of Dead Cells. Now, let me, let me explain something to you real quick. I did try to record another episode of this, and in that episode, I did beat the concierge. I got a little further into the game. I found this new area where it's like the sewers, I think. So, like, you might see it in this game. But the only reason I'm telling you this is because when I tried to edit the first video, it took so long because i recorded almost two hours of footage because i couldn't stop playing this game and it was such a pain in the ass because it took like what it took uh i don't know like a day and a half in total and it just it was not a fun time um so i'm you know i'm letting you know this right now in case there's stuff you ain't never seen before because there's stuff that i've seen that you haven't um so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right back in so the reason that it took so long to edit was not only because it took, you know, an hour and 40 minutes, but because, like, um, Premiere Pro couldn't handle the fact that it took, or it couldn't handle the fact that it was such, you know, a huge file. Like, it was, I think it was, like, three gigabytes or something like that. But no, it can usually handle stuff like that, but it's, like, the settings that I'm also using with OBS. It's the settings that I got to play the game and, like, to record it. So, there's a lot of things that I have to take care of. Hey, what's good, shopkeep? I felt frustration from playing video games, but never from actually editing it. Like, pr prime example, right? Oh, hang on. What, what do I want to buy here? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, back to the story. So, uh, I was playing Wolfenstein A New Order, which was the prequel to New Colossus? Or the... Yeah, uh, Wolfenstein 2. You know, the official Wolfenstein 2 game. And I mistakenly wanted a challenge in that game because like well how, how old was I? I was like what 14 or something and I thought to myself oh this this is an interesting game I kind of want to see what I can do I'm gonna put this on the hardest difficulty why oh, I fucked myself so hard with that decision I got shot up by guns I got I think I think I got blasted by one of those like those walker robots that you see in um ooh, chest that you see in War of the Worlds. But if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm pretty sure I got like eaten up by one of those robot dog hound looking things. Like, it was not fun. I got destroyed by damn near anything that came across my way. And I just thought to myself, this is not the way to do it. But then I switched to a stealth kind of playthrough and it completely changed the overlook. Like, I don't think I've ever made a bigger mistake in my life. Like, I, I dated a ninth grader when I was in 10th grade and it was a bigger mistake than that. I fucking sang a song to a girl that I liked. It was a love song, and she hit me with that. Oh, that's so sweet, bro. I drank beer at nine in the morning because I thought it looked like fucking apple juice. I am a clumsy dude, so when I play a game like this, I, it honestly just, it's all over the place. Now, let's get the assassin's dagger. I like to stab people in the back. What is this? Hold up. Hey, you there. I work for the blacksmith. I can patch up your gear for cheap. I'm not really supposed to be here, though, you know? Let's just keep that between us, okay? Uh, oh, sure, why not? Right, come on, then. How much uh, have you got on you? Whoa! Oh, the game updated! Oh, shit! You forge an item to try and acquire better modifiers or increase its power. Ooh! Oh, nice. 1% of HP recovered per attack, close combat. 100% damage taken. Poisons the enemy. Hey, okay. Shoots an arrow in front of you cannot be sold. Damn, I like this. This is dope. I, I like this. This this is a really cool thing. Hard to see how you could reforge a grenade or a bow with a tool like that. Very slipshod game design. What? Game developers, did did you? Are you are you there? <laughs> That's cool. And then you're you're the typical dude with the mutations. Okay. So anyway, like the reason I was telling you guys that story is because you know I. I'm a dude that is naturally clumsy, so I tend to make a lot of mistakes, but damn if I don't learn from those mistakes. Like, in Wolfenstein, I was doing a stealth playthrough, so, like, I wasn't, you know, really doing that much up in their face attacking and, you know, blasting people, unless I absolutely had to, because, you know, that game, that, in -game, that game introduced me to dual wielding, and it was so fucking delicious. So I was doing, like, a stealth playthrough, and it was all fine and dandy, until I reached, you know, the final boss, and then that just, it, it all went to shit, I was back to square one, I, I was back on the beach, <laughs> my, my whole world, ow, it, it was just, it was gone, like, that dude, like, he was in a fucking giant robo suit, uh, German motherfucker, he was 
shooting holes up in me and burning me alive and shit. Damn near looked like a black SpongeBob by the end of that playthrough. It took me at least, at least 10 tries. And I didn't even know what I was doing in that boss fight. It was so hard to tell how to like hurt him. Like I figured, oh God, fuck. Ooh, okay, what was I saying? I figured out how to beat him only on like turn six or try six. So, you know, it, it took a minute. You know, that that's the, like that that's how you grow as a person. You gotta die a thousand times before you can live right once. You feel me? I swear to God, if this, oh, hey, shopkeep. Uh, Well, no point in being here, but it's always good to know that you care. Anyway, the goal of this game is to make it to the next boss in the time that I have. Cause like I said, I'm trying to cut these videos down to the best of my ability. So I'll probably only play for like a half hour or until I reach a certain point. Um, nah, I kind of want to get a, you know, an, an LT weapon. So the thing with that is that you could only choose one or the other and the other would disappear. Um, nice little mechanics. That way you don't make the players too overpowered. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Are you? Oh, okay, let's try that again. Yeah, so like these little things, they have health too, so. Oh, are you? Why did that do so much damage? Why did that do so much damage? I don't understand. Whoa. Seriously, they are doing way more damage than they. Could it be because I beat the boss? Did they up the difficulty in the damage they do because I beat the boss? Is that really what's happening? Oh my god, if it is, I'm gonna be so pissed. In the meantime, I'm just gonna enjoy as much as I can before I lose my shit. It's another... Okay, so I don't have the rune for this. Though that rune's gotta be somewhere. So, question. What, what do you guys think about... I still need the gardener's key. What do you guys think about roguelite games like this? Where it's like... Like, a roguelite is pot by... Loose definition, if you die, you lose your stuff, you go right to back to the beginning, and then you do it all over again. So what do you guys think about games like that? Like, do you think that it adds a sort of special challenge flair to it, or do you think it's just straight up annoying? I personally like it, but only up until the point to where it gets annoying, because, well, okay, it's not necessarily so much annoying as it is just inconvenient, you know? I like my stuff that I collect, especially if it's like really good stuff, like the blueprints that you get, the grenades that you get, sometimes they can be really good. Like when I beat the um, the concierge, the first boss, I got this really good bow. I, I can't remember specifically what it did, but I'm pretty sure if I have a clip, I'll use it. This is just a lot of treasure. <gasps> Whoa, hold on. Yo, that's so much damage. I, I'm about to be an archer. Just, it sucks when you lose your stuff. Like you, you feel it on a, personal level like i worked so hard for all of that and now it's just gone um all right so oh god what the f oh my gosh oh what oh oh no i couldn't roll away fast enough oh can i blame the controls on that one i feel like i clicked it but it didn't like it didn't it didn't register or something or i don't i don't know oh this game is changing my physiology <laughs> I am not bad at video games. Don't, don't, don't mistake my like, flustering as me being bad at video games. That's not it. Like I know how to pick things up pretty quickly. It's just that when it gives me like this, these kind of scenarios where the enemies suddenly do more damage and I, I don't, I, oh, come on. He didn't have an explanation point. When they have the exclamation point, then they're about to attack. Like, I read into that before, but, like, I don't know. Sometimes it feels, like, the same, and sometimes it feels different, but it's it's not even, like, the, the true measure of the game anymore. It's just, like, there's something different about it, and I have no idea what. Oh, hey, it's the way out. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Okay, so there's a shop over there. Perfect. What's good, shopkeep? What you got for me? You got blood sword two. <gasps> an infantry bow. <gasps> a duplex bow. So let's get a new sword and a new bow <gasps> that's tre oh whoa whoa i see a treasure chest how did i miss this uh it's just a throwing knife let's see if there's anything else yeet 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 nice 
I'm really good with the infantry bow because I like to get up close and personal and if I know I can do enough damage to kill them then I'll just do it because both of these weapons are a little slow but you know it reflects in how much damage they do that's yeah, uh, King's order um, all right Castang forget about the orders posted on the walls there's something more important the villagers are trying to cross the bridge to the village arrest them and take them back to their cells use force if necessary um, a letter from the warden, apparently to his officers. Gentlemen, it is extremely difficult for me to draft this order. A sudden illness prevents me from helping you maintain a stable situation on the bridge. I will join you promptly once the nausea has passed and once my arms have stopped swelling. Hey. The situation is still under control. Do not lose hope. We can do it if we stand together. Nothing is impossible if we work as a team. Unity is strength. And we are united in adverse er, adverse adversity. Mm. I am proud of you. We can overcome this trial. I believe in you. I believe in us! Uh, yeah, sounds like a lesson from managing soldiers how to earn their respect without using torture. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this is the new area that I was talking about. So I've got a choice of either the Promenade of the Condemned or the Toxic Sewers. The Toxic Sewers wasn't as bad as the Promenade last time, but it still got its fair share of trouble. I mean, I'll give it a shot, so. Um, oh yeah, that's right, we wanted the assassin. Damn it, we wanted the assassin's dagger. Yeah, so let's see about reforging. Let's try to, 163, oh. Bleeding causes poisoning, oh. Oh, you know just how to tickle my nipples, don't you? All right, into these stanky ass sewers. Um, ooh, okay. So let's go a little for, oh, for fucks. What is that? What is that? That looks that looks cool. The deal was oh for fuck's sake. I need to be way faster if I want to get into those rooms. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so that was a new enemy, and he's a little disgusting. Oh god, and they pop up anywhere. Oh hey, there was a thing there. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the zombie. Oh, yeah, it's this thing. E. Okay, so yeah, if you kill those, their eggs explode. It seems pretty chill so far. Wait, whoa, 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 what's that over there? It looks like a freaking mound of gold. Okay, that looks good. We're going over there. Let's upgrade the red. So if you notice, uh, uh, some weapons, if I can't talk, some weapons have a mixture of colors. So the upgrades that you get will make it go to more of one color than the other. If it's more purple than red, upgrading the purple will give it more, like more damage and everything. But if you upgrade it to red, if there's more purple, then it'll put it back to half and half, allowing for an upgrade on both ends. And it's just, oh, God damn it. Ah. Did anybody else's ass pucker when they saw that? It sucks, because this is... Okay, I'm only going to say this one more time, because I feel like I said it like a thousand times in the first playthrough. But this game, while it is like Dark Souls, it has its differences too. Because... Whoa, what the fuck? They don't drop cells every time. And that's what sucks. Because I really would like the cells, because some of those upgrades that the collector has needs like 200 cells at the end of it and I just I don't know how I'm gonna do that okay I'm gonna wait until you turn around you ugly looking bastard is it just me or do these things kind of look like Birdo <laughs> like am I the only one Ooh, there's a message keep this door locked at all costs if the rats get out they'll spread the malaise okay so the malaise is like the black plague where it's like it infected everybody but it's got some kind of mystical properties I guess rats are always a prime suspect in times of illness I don't know I kind of like rats <laughs> and I'd be surprised if it was rats that made a hole like that oh no if a rat this big made a oh no I don't want to think about that Woo! ah oh, come the fuck on do I have to use my I'm using my flask oh yes is there anywhere else uh, nope I want to leave all right, well, I think that's a uh, that's a good enough stopping point. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and do our upgrades in the next episode. 
Uh, and then after that, now that we got out of the toxic sewers, we'll just go ahead and shove on to see who the next boss is going to be. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, you know, hit that like button. It lets me know that you're enjoying them. Also, because I haven't said this enough in a while, subscribe to my channel. And if you think that people would also like my channel, you know, recommend them to me. Bring them my way. I'm pretty sure they'll like all the videos that I've made thus far. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.